Viewers, some dangerous creatures that used to live underground would normally kill ordinary humans and then disappear. But in the future, will humans still exist? This question is explored by a scientist using his time machine. At the beginning of the story, we are introduced to a professor named Alex, who used to teach at a very prestigious university. Alex's knowledge was much better than that of other teachers. Alex also had a fiancé named Hema. As usual, Alex went to the park to meet Hema. They would spend time together talking lovingly. Alex had brought a very beautiful ring with him and proposed to Hema, asking her to marry him. Just then, Alex noticed an unknown man wandering around them. The man started demanding all their money at gunpoint. Although Alex gave the man all the money he had, the man now wanted the ring as well. Seeing the situation, Alex attacked the man, determined not to give up the ring. However, things took a tragic turn as Hema was injured during the struggle. Hema was in severe pain and eventually died from her injuries. Alex was in shock and didn't know what to do. His friend David tried to console him, but Alex had decided to build a time machine to go back and save Hema. Alex locked himself in a room, working day and night to build the time machine. He didn't care about eating, drinking, or anything else. He was only focused on making the time machine to bring Hema back. After a year of hard work, Alex successfully built the time machine, which could travel to both the past and the future. Alex traveled back in time to the moment when Hema was waiting for him at the park. Seeing Hema after so many years, Alex hugged her immediately. Knowing that Hema would die at that location, Alex decided to take her away from there. But after moving a short distance, they encountered another accident, and Hema was once again injured. Alex realized that no matter how hard he tried, he could not save Hema. He fell into depression once again. But now, Alex decided to find out how changes could be made in the past by going to the future. The current time was 1999. Alex set his time machine to travel 20 years ahead, and as soon as he turned it on, the machine accelerated to the speed of light. Shortly after, Alex arrived in the year 2030, where the technology was extremely advanced. To locate the time machine, Alex went to a library, where he encountered a holographic AI named Box 104. When Alex inquired about the time machine's process, Box informed him that no such invention existed. Alex was shocked by this revelation, but he could not accept this answer. So, Alex decided to travel to 1937, hoping that someone in the future might have this technology. Traveling through time, Alex reached 1937, but he found that the place was completely destroyed. It was falling apart and collapsing onto Earth, causing severe environmental destruction. As a result, there was a massive loss of human life. When Alex stepped outside to assess the situation, he was captured by military officers. Earthquakes and storms had become common at that time. Alex managed to escape from the military officers and returned to the time machine. However, due to the rapid shaking of the ground, Alex's head hit the machine, causing him to lose consciousness. The time machine was then activated and continued moving toward the future. Alex had no idea what was happening as the machine sped into the future. At some point, he regained a little consciousness and stopped the machine. When he opened his eyes after a while, he found himself in a completely different place. Alex saw a girl there and realized that people from the old times were living in this new era. In reality, Earth had been destroyed in 2037 and would not return to normal for millions of years. However, human technology had been completely wiped out and people had begun to build their homes in the forests. The inhabitants of this new settlement looked at Alex in a very peculiar way. Alex, who was speaking in English, found that no one could understand him. However, there was a woman named Mara who helped Alex and brought him to a safe place. Mara was able to understand everything Alex was saying, and she advised him to stay and rest for a while. The people of the settlement also agreed with this. At night, Alex went to sleep, but he suddenly started having a terrifying dream. In the dream, he saw a huge cave with a strange white-skinned man continuously staring at him. Alex woke up abruptly from this disturbing dream. Mara's brother had also had the same dream, and Mara told Alex that this type of dream was common among the people here, but no one knew its meaning yet. 
The next day, Mara showed Alex around the settlement and asked why he had come to the future. Although Alex did not tell her the exact reason, Mara figured out that Alex had lost someone dear to him, which is why he came here using the time machine. Alex then explained that he wanted to save his deceased fiance, Hema. He had initially tried to go back in time to save her, but realized that no changes could be made in the past. So he decided to travel directly to the future. Mara then took Alex to the location of the time machine. Alex felt that he needed to leave this place as soon as possible. Mara made a special request for Alex to take her brother with them because the place was extremely dangerous. Soon after, sirens started blaring and Mara and Alex ran towards the light source to see what was happening. They encountered a very dangerous creature with a body similar to that of a human, but it was not human. This group of dangerous creatures, known as Morlocks, attacked the entire settlement. The Morlocks, who lived underground, came out and began attacking and killing humans. A terrifying Morlock chased Alex, who climbed up a pole in an attempt to escape. However, the Morlocks were relentless and did not easily give up the chase. Both the Morlocks and Alex fell to the ground together. Now, a terrifying Morlock had grabbed Alex by the throat, as if Alex's life was about to end. However, a siren began blaring, signaling that the group of Morlocks was retreating to their base after attacking the humans. The Morlock that had seized Alex let him go and returned underground. Unfortunately, Mara was also captured and taken underground by the Morlocks. Alex wanted to save Mara at any cost, but the villagers warned him that anyone taken by the Morlocks had never returned alive. Despite this, Alex refused to listen to anyone and went straight to Mara's brother, asking him for a way into the Morlock world. Alex promised Mara's brother that he would save his sister no matter what. Therefore, Mara's brother took Alex to the Morlock world. There, they encountered a massive cave and they cautiously entered it. Inside, Alex saw the same AI hologram that he had seen in 2030. The AI was still active because its device operated on the solar system and Alex inquired about what was happening. The AI hologram explained that many years ago, the moon had broken apart and started falling to Earth. To avoid these threats, humans had gone underground. Over thousands of years, their bodies had evolved and those who lived underground became Morlocks. The Morlocks came to the surface to feed on normal humans to increase their population and their numbers had significantly grown. Alex decided to explore further. After a while, he arrived at a structure he had seen in his dreams. He realized that this was the Morlock's base. Alex sent Mara's brother back for safety and entered the Morlock base alone. Inside, Alex saw Morlocks working all around him. He carefully observed everything, but accidentally slipped and fell into a liquid. The noise attracted a Morlock's attention, and Alex was captured and locked in a room by the Morlocks. Alex saw that Mara was also imprisoned in the same room, but she seemed to be ignoring him for some reason. When Alex looked closer, he noticed a man sitting in front of him who was dressed in white. This man was a powerful sorcerer with mind control abilities. He revealed that he had taken control of all the Morlocks' minds, meaning Mara was also under his control. The sorcerer explained to Alex how he had traveled to the future using his time machine and that he wanted to save his fiancée, M. He told Alex that it was impossible to change events in the past because doing so would disrupt the balance of time. If Alex saved M in the past, then he would never invent the time machine in the future, which would prevent him from traveling to the past in the first place. This disruption in the timeline caused chaos. The sorcerer advised Alex to forget the past and start anew. He told Alex to return to his own timeline and he even returned Alex's time machine to him. Confused and desperate for answers, Alex decided to drag the sorcerer into the time machine with him. A fierce battle ensued between the two, but the sorcerer's powers were overwhelming. Alex struggled to hold his ground. The sorcerer grabbed Alex by the throat, intending to kill him. In a clever move, Alex managed to open another lock on the time machine, causing a powerful gust of wind to blow into the sorcerer's face, knocking him out of the time machine. Alex activated the time machine, sending it into the future at an incredibly fast rate. As a result, the sorcerer's body was completely destroyed by the rapid passage of time. 
Although the sorcerer's hands were still on Alex's body, Alex quickly pushed him away and activated the time machine. The machine transported him millions of years into the future. What he saw was shocking. The entire Earth had turned into a hellish wasteland, completely dominated by Morlocks. There wasn't a single human in sight, indicating that if the Morlocks were not stopped, they would annihilate all humans in the future. Determined to prevent this, Alex immediately re-entered the time machine and traveled back to the moment when Mara was imprisoned. He managed to rescue Mara, but by then, the Morlocks had discovered what was happening. They planned to attack Alex and Mara. Alex, however, had a plan. He used a plane and inserted a clock into the time machine's mechanism, triggering a time loop that initiated a chain reaction. Alex and Mara quickly fled as the time machine exploded, emitting a powerful laser that turned all the attacking Morlocks into stone. With the help of this powerful beam, Alex and Mara managed to escape, and all the Morlocks were destroyed. They emerged safely from the cave, having saved the future from the Morlocks' dominance. However, Alex realized that his time machine was completely destroyed, meaning he couldn't return to his original timeline. Although he could rebuild it, he decided to stay with Mara because he had developed strong feelings for her. Alex also managed to extract the hologram of AI and set it up to educate children. Alex found fulfillment with Mara, and his friend David in another timeline, who was concerned for him, was finally satisfied knowing Alex had discovered his life's purpose. David was very happy for Alex, and thus, the story concludes here.